Ah, uh, I... Where am I? It's all right, son. Don't panic. It's over. Uh, I'm back? Where are the guests? I invited them to go up to their rooms. They're resting. Don't worry. Gregory? We won, Louis. It's over. He's dead? Definitively. Now the way is clear. At any rate, rejoice. Great things await us. What did you do to him? I devoured his soul. You... but... I didn't see you use the Holy Lance. Indeed not. I didn't need to. Can't you guess how I did it? The Lance of Longinus is just a vessel, Louis. It could have been any object that had the blood of Christ on it. The blood of an ancient, more precisely. But I didn't need the blood of an ancient. You see, I have been in dear Lord Mortimer's physical body for longer than my brother has been in Sir Gregory Holmes. Therefore, I am an ancient, Louis. B what happened in the ether? I surpassed him. What do you mean you surpassed him? I made sure he was poisoned by my blood before our little chat. Remember the cup of tea in the dining room? I wagered that Gregory simply wouldn't be able to let it get cold. Old habits do die hard. You put your blood in your tea? And he put the hangman's rope round his own neck. Ironic, isn't it? Unable to extract himself from his physical body, it didn't take much time for me to absorb him. In any case, what's done is done. I'm going to rest in the dining room. Join me there when you're ready. The time has come to end this little antisocial gathering. No doubt about it. This family is rotten to the marrow. I did right not to trust them. Home told me that my last resort was to find my sister. I hope Emma will be able to help me. Great, honey. I hope Emma is fully recovered. I Emma, excuse me for turning up like- Louis, your timing is perfect. I'm not so sure. Holm is dead. Killed by Mortimer? How'd you know that? Holm. He warned me that it was probably going to happen. Looks like she's better. Louis, I have brought Emily back from the ether. I beg your pardon? It was the last thing Holm did, as if to give us a chance of making it through. He guided me step by step just before he disappeared. Unfortunately, I could only bring her back in the body of a servant. Then, could you bring Sarah back? I'm sorry, Louis, but I'm afraid Sarah is condemned to stay in the ether forever. If I understand rightly, she has never been able to prove her worth. As if her talents were um, diminished somehow. I don't want to rush you, but time is short. We are in great danger. When Holmes sensed his death was imminent, he warned me that we would be next. It was to be expected. But why attack us? We are his children, so... Good God, the bastard! What? Louis, what's the matter? He's going to devour us! What are you talking about? I've seen what he did to home, Emma. He's going to absorb us. I know it. I think this has been his plan all along. Explain yourself. Paintings. He announced it to us from the start. Look in your room. The paintings about you. William Pitt, the Queen of England. There's even an orphanage. Who chose all the paintings? He did. So what? My paintings are Saturn devouring his children. The fall of the dam. The incredulity of St. Thomas. He's been laughing at me the whole time. And where is he waiting for me right now? In the dining room. Remember, what are the paintings in the dining room? Pigs, I think. Yes, Circe turning her guests into pigs, so they themselves become the meal. The sick bastard. 
We aren't going to let him get away with it. You wouldn't know how to defeat an ancient, child-eating, all-powerful demon, would you? Well, believe it or not, he gave me the answer himself. We're going to need the blood from a demon older than him. And it just so happens that I have the Holy Lance. It touched the blood of Christ. What's the connection? <laughs> You're not trying to say that Christ is... I'll have to ask you to trust me on this one. Once this is over, we'll all have a few bones to pick, but for the time being... All right. All right. We'll follow you. Good. Let's go then. Are you sure you're ready? You are all right? Yes. Yes, I feel a lot better. It's... it's all a bit strange. Sister, I believe we're ready for the end game. Louis, there you are. Look, she's better. Perfect. Good. Are you ready, Louis? Can we go? Yes. Let's get it over with. Louis, I've been expecting... Oh, I see you haven't come alone. To what do I owe the honor, Duchess? I thought this discussion should concern the whole family. Surprise, father. Emily, you brought her back from the ether. Well, I am impressed, my children. It's over, father. We can't let you go on like this. Enough! Ah! Louis! Who on earth do you think you are, for heaven's sake? Did you think I wouldn't know what you are planning? You are mere insects compared to me. You never had a chance. Help! My head! Let's do it! Now! Ah, how dare you! Keep going, it's working! You creatures are pitiful. Tell me, Emma, are you sure you are right to bring your sister back in that grotesque body? Don't listen to him, Emma! Emily gave you her word that she would leave you the Duchess. Have faith in her. Your efforts are futile, father. I have faith in my sister. And me in her. Perfect. They won't let themselves be taken in. Emily. You have always been the dominant one. And you expect me to believe that you're now going to simply hand over your whole life's work? You can't fool me, my girl. I can read you like a book. Emma, Emily, don't believe a single word of what he's saying. You both braved hell together, united. And that's the only way we can get out of here. Louis is right, Emma. Yes, you are right, Louis. We will not be misled by this kind of manipulation, Father. Good. We stand firm. If this continues, Mortimer won't have any hold on us. Emma, my dear daughter, let me help you. You have won. Look, you have it all. You are Duchess Hillsborough. You are rich. You are young, beautiful, influential. I'm so proud of you. You are the one I've been waiting for. You know what she's like. You know she harbors vengeance in her heart. She'll never let you have all this to yourself. Never. I beseech you. Let me help you. Let me protect you, darling. Emma, look at her. Look at Emily. You know her. She knows you. But I... Go on. Look at her. It is her. She loves you. She's counting on you. Emma, help us. My sister. Get him! No! Louis! No! No, don't do it. It's over. You've lost. No, Louis. No, stop. Oh. Oh. <laughs> My son. You will regret your actions when you see him. Come, Louis. It's over. Let's leave.
Von Vollmer tightened his political and spiritual grip on King Frederick William. On the death of the king in 1797, Johann retired with his wife to his country estate in order to continue his work on his theological and alchemical thesis. Manuel Godoy's close relationship with Napoleon enabled him to claim a part of Portugal, as well as the protection of France upon the fall of the kingdom. He died in the company of his beloved mistress Pepita, after recovering all his titles and properties. Napoleon Bonaparte continued his political and military rise until his self-proclamation as emperor. His excessive ambition would cost the lives of 1,700,000 Frenchmen and leave France poorer and weaker than ever before. Deported and imprisoned by the British on St. Helena Island, he died on the 5th of May, 1821, as an exile to general indifference. During his second term, George Washington had to deal with a number of rebellions. He enraged public opinion by building close diplomatic links with Great Britain, which forced him to give up a third term in office. He retired to his country estate until his death, without being able to implement the annexation of the highly coveted Louisiana Territory. The Duchess, enabling Great Britain to build closer ties with the United States on both political and commercial fronts, was her last diplomatic feat. She gradually withdrew from the English court and had to retire to the country, supported by her ever-present friend, the author Jane Austen. They say that the Duchess inspired her novel, Emma, which became a bestseller in the year 1816. His Eminence Piaggi, having successfully accomplished his mission, returned to His Holiness the Pope with full honors. Although all his ambitions had become possible, to the stupefaction of his entourage, the Cardinal preferred to retire to his Tuscan monastery, far from all political and diplomatic commitments. Fascinated by the techniques of exorcism and demonology, he dedicated the last years of his life to the study of Inquisition reports. On his return to Paris, Peyrou resigned from his posting as judge at the Revolutionary Courts. He withdrew to the south of France with his daughter until his death. Nothing more was ever heard of Lord Mortimer. His sudden disappearance was a topic of conversation in the European courts, but only for a few months. <laughs>